A sniper is a trained sharpshooter, who operates alone, in a pair, or with a sniper team to maintain close visual contact with a target and engage the targets from concealed positions or distances exceeding the detection capabilities of enemy personnel. Snipers generally have specialized training and are equipped with high precision rifles and high magnification optics, and often also serve as scouts feeding tactical information back to their units or command headquarters. In addition to long-range and high-grade marksmanship, military snipers are trained in a variety of special operation techniques. Detection, stalking, target range estimation methods, camouflage, and so on. Some notable military snipers in history are Simo Hauha, a Finnish sniper during the 1939-40 Winter War known as the White Death. He is credited with 259 confirmed kills by sniper rifle and an equal number of kills by a submachine gun during the war. In total, he killed between 505 and 542 soldiers. Ivan C. Durenko, a Soviet sniper credited with over 500 kills during the Second World War. Fedir Diachinko, Soviet sniper during World War II, credited with as many as 425 kills and awarded with the Hero of the Soviet Union. Matthias Hetzenauer, an Austrian sniper on the Eastern Front during World War II who was credited with 345 kills between 1943 and 1945. Ludmila Pavlichenko, the most successful female sniper during World War II. She served in the Soviet Army and had 309 confirmed kills. Vasily Zaitsev, a Soviet sniper who fought at the Battle of Stalingrad. Zaitsev is credited with 242 kills. Zhang Taivang, a Chinese sniper who fought in the Korean War with 214 confirmed kills over 32 days. Chris Kyle, a U.S. Navy SEAL credited with 160 confirmed kills by the Pentagon, but who allegedly killed 255. But the most successful sniper in history is almost never mentioned in the historical references. Rasul Zarin. He was the best Iranian sniper in the Iran-Iraq War. He had about 700 kills which is more than the famous American sniper, Chris Kyle, and Finnish White Death, Simo Halham. His reputation is mostly for his selective targets meaning that he often did not kill the soldiers but instead the commanders with an old version of SVD Dragunov. And also, Zarin fought for his country and killed the soldiers and high-rank military commanders who were his enemy but didn't kill civilians and children as Kyle did. He was also called a single battalion and was Iraq's most wanted hunt. He was finally killed by the shrapnel of a bomb during Operation Khyber. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.